moving forward with this year's budget, uh, we are we very aware of what we've seen from the voters the last couple of years, defaults, and trying to just have that wider view than just your department. We spent a lot of money in the town, um, school projects and all that. So moving forward, working with the manager's office, uh, we tried to come in as close to a default number as we could, uh, and that was our motivation moving forward with the development of the budget for, this, uh, for 2020. Yeah, terrific. And you'll see uh, uh, on, the, on the chief's budget for the police department, uh, the, the total bottom line recommended by Selectman was 4560707 But if I could ask Selectman Bridal to uh, move under uh, the subtotal of administration, the first number on the Board of Selectman column. The Board of Selectman is uh, 637404. Moved by Mr. Bridal. Second. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. I would also have all of you remember to open to your, have your summary page as well because there were some changes because under administration, if you look, the total amount changed to 654, 354, and uh, we can amend that too. But um, any questions, um, please raise your hand for the first part under administration for the Hampton Police Department. Anybody have any comments on that? All right, we'll come back to that. Um, final review if we need to change anything. Okay, uh, uh, Rusty, can we have you move the subtotal sub of crime control and investigations? Okay. So, yeah, subtotal is 703960. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. And that's on page 35 going over to page 36. And a little difference there too. Uh, just so that you all know, in that area, we see a lot of the, um, uh, you know, the areas that we normally see in the budget, uh, including the uh, uh, detective sergeants, the uh, court wages, overtime, career incentives. Pretty much the same, straightforward every year in this section. Does anybody have any questions, Mr. Mar? Yes, I have a question in reference to, <clears throat> for example, the one before. There it was. 637, but when you look at the actual is of 930 along with this one, the actual of 441, <clears throat> that's for 19, it seems like it's going to be a, a kind of a large jump when you get to 703. It wasn't as well the same thing, but uh, it was very bad. It was very similar in a positive way on the 2019 budget. Oh, if I could help you on that, David. Yeah. So when you look at the summary pages um, that Christy gave us a week or so ago, it said 930-19. We have received the October financials since then, so we're actually through October 31st. Right. So well, you had mentioned this. My question, it should be the same thing. It's like one quarter is left, and how do you get six percent? Sorry. If you took, a, if, if you're three quarters through the year, you got one quarter left. And if you took one quarter left of what was spent already, yep. I don't see how you get to 637. I'm, I'm not understanding something or seeing The 637 something. for the proposed 2020 budget. Uh, correct. Well, it, look at also for the, the budget for uh, the actual is 371. And now you're looking at the proposed for the next year at 637 is correct. Well, the actual was out till September 30th. Right. 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 I'm talking, that's three quarters of a year. Okay. Right? Yep. So you got one quarter left. Correct. Correct. So if I take a third of that money of the, which was spent, a third of 371, I, I haven't done the math yet on it. It seems, it appears to be high. -er. And I'm just, first I want to validate that. That's the question. So, the actual I assume they do people if they go along they're spending equal amount of money normally each month the actual in which section were you talking about both administration and, and crime control uh, the administration in in the control so part. and the chief will I might ask the chief to add to this but uh, it's right on where it should be because the end of October they have expended 67 percent of that budget right. with 208 of, of the administration line so they're pretty much on target, right, Chief? I would say one thing to Mr. Morrow's point. When you look at administration, yeah. administration will usually be month to month closer to the target number than other areas of the budget. And here's why. 
with the administration, we work what we work. We don't come in and, you know, we're not getting overtime, we're not working all these other things. When you get to the folks that are working out on the street and doing that, it ebbs and flows. Like when our special officers come in, you know, right now it's kind of a dead time of the year for us, so you won't see a lot of expenditure in that line item for this last quarter. But when we get to June through October, or April through October, you'll see it peaking. So we don't run equal month to month. The one that probably comes the closest to that is administration. There's not a lot of ebb and flow in the administration budget. Well, I'm using the, the, the actuals of 930 for this. I know you've said they've been updated to the end of October. But we're right on target, I believe. You are right on yep. target, Chief. Yep. As a matter of fact, just to give you an example, um, in comparison to the other years, they're always hover around the 67, 68 yep. percent through October 31st. So they're going to be right on uh, by the end of December 31st. So remember, this is January 1 through October 31st. I understand yeah. that. Okay. And I understand it's also from October, for, you know, January 1 through 9.30, which is three quarters of the year. If I take the other, but take one third of that, do I get? Continue on. I'll give it another shot. Yeah, just just so that you know, and Chief, thank you, because I, uh, David, if this could help, I actually went through the total of the police department through October 31st, and they are at 77%, just under, through October 31st. So, I mean, we're, we're really close to what's going to happen, so. And also, if you look at it, you know, the uni uh, holiday pay and career incentives yeah, that's don't right. get paid. Yeah. yeah, that's always one that throws people for a whoop sometimes. Yep. Why, why do we still have 100% left in that item? That we don't yeah. pay it until the first pay period that's of December. That's a big one, because that's what's saying here. It's not equal until you get to December, yeah. and then you get right. then then you you got got like a, a, yep. got two a Decembers. Job. Right. Got I'm, a I'm exaggerating, but... Yeah. Right? That's a contractual obligation that they have to fulfill. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I'm just trying to understand the numbers. Yeah. And I think in our book, the 371 is only 60 percent. It's not actually 75 percent. Well, it's it's three months. It's well, that's 75 percent of time from January 1 to the end of September 30th is nine months. Understood. So that's 75 percent. But, but I think they're only 66 spent. I think is the difference. Like you're saying that it's a quarter, which I totally agree with. But I think they're only 66 percent spent even though we're expecting them to be 75 percent spent if you yeah. remember what we said all along we have the book that christie's given us but we get updated numbers i understand so, that i'm looking at this page only well, i understand so I'm discussing okay. i'm not discussing updated okay October. so are we are we all set on are we up to date now I'm fine okay thank you remember let's raise our hand if you want to uh, ask questions uh, mr bridal i was just going to say in a perfect world every month is 112. there you go so yeah. but when you have summer seasons and stuff like that, we don't, we can't do that as a perfect wheel. So that's why a lot is more. Sometimes it's spent more in the summer, and other things yeah. come up like. Well, with this is spent. This is after the summer. It's not. It's the end of. Yeah. But there's still other things that come and yeah. come and go that come at different times of the year. It's so funny that Rusty knows that when I ran state parks, we'd spend 88 percent of our budget in 12 weeks. I mean that. So I mean, we other times of the year was easy. So we would have, you know. Good, so we all set on that section. The uh, next section is traffic control and report. Mr. Bridal? Traffic control report, bottom line is uh, 2,151,218. Thank you. Do I have a second by Mr. Pluff? Any discussion in the area of uh, traffic control and patrol? Okay, hearing none, uh, we go into the uh, training area. That figure is uh, 56,425. By Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Any discussion in this area? All right. All right, support services. Support services is... Uh, 805-495. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff, 805-495. <coughs> Subtotal support services. Anybody have any questions or comments in that area? 
Mr. Henderson. A couple quick questions. Yep. I know this year it was uh, rainy, lousy spring, so we didn't bring a lot of guys in from the outside. Mm -hmm. What is the average we pay when we do pay the bring the guys in from outside, the high and the low? Brian, did we get that to you? That was last year's information. We, I don't think a lot has changed because oh, okay. the primary units we use is UNH and EPIC. And I think those numbers remain Pretty consistent much the same. on their detail rates. Um, and the other problem was is just it's like everybody else, trying to get people to come to work. We would put, you know, first thing I want to make sure we're clear on is any work that I send to an outside agency went through the HPA members first, Correct. which was refused. Thank you. So when that happens and we have a need because of an event or because of the weather and we can't get the support uh, from the state police, mm -hmm. then we go to that option. But i got to be honest, it was very hard to get people even through that program this year. It's getting tougher around uh, with recruitment and, re and retention. Um, so cool weather. Two things contributed to that number being low this year. We did have a very wet spring, the preseason, and that's what that was really designed for. Pre Fourth of July, there was times before we get our new officers out there, and it was wet and cold, so we didn't have much of a preseason. Um, and the other thing is just the other agencies that we do utilize. It's getting harder for them to get people to take the extra work, just like it is for us. So. Uh -huh. So my, my question is, though, what is the salary that we're paying? You know, what is the high and the low? What we're paying to these guys when they come in from outside? So the public knows what we're paying. Epping is a straight rate of, I want to say, $42 an hour, and UNH is $42, uh, $44 an hour. So whoever you get from UNH, whoever you get, you get from Epping, it's the same rate of pay. Yeah. Which is Plus that? whatever their uh, administrative fee is. Administrative. That's their contractual issue, I, probably, on their side. Right? On both the parties. They don't get both. Hamptons. They get theirs. Yeah, both have con uh, labor contracts that, that we have to abide by. And I know it's been a problem, too, but um, how are we making out as far as getting state police back in and working in Hampton? Because I know, you know, they, there's been some issues with their budgets, et cetera, but as, as we've spoken before, and I've brought this up before, hey, it's state property, it's state beach, you know? So, you know, we should get some help from the state, and we should probably get more than we've... Uh, been getting the last couple of years anyways. I can't know. disagree with you that we should be getting more. Here's the problem. It's, it's the same problem everybody's having, is finding, A, people to fill the vacancies, and the workforce has changed. No, and I will say this, the, the people we hire and the people I see coming into this field should be applauded for coming into this field in such a challenging time. But just like the private sector, they want to work 40 hours and they're not really that interested in working the extra. Mm -hmm. So while we're trying to get our folks to work the extra and they're refusing it, it's hard for me to press hard on the colonel to press his people to come in and do work that we've already refused. That's the problem, is we're all chasing the same issue with our people. It's people that want to come to this job and the fact that the workforce in general today, they want to work fewer hours. So that, that is really what we're up against. The colonel is very supportive. He actually appeared here at a selectman meeting one night uh, with the state park. But also remember, we're subject to that 1933 agreement that the town of Hampton is responsible for public safety at the beach. So they give us what they can give us. Uh, we actually just left the state park meeting. Uh, one of the things we did get uh, out of the state parks people is they did send us a couple of the, the forest rangers to help us on the North Shore with the fireworks issue. So we're hoping we can try to expand that a little bit. Um, I was inquired about maybe the sheriff's department some more. Problem with the sheriff's department, he has a limited budget, same problems we are. And the other thing with all the changes with the bail reform and felonies first, uh, that they've actually had to take deputies and put them on that uh, fugitive task force to try to recover some of these people because people are defaulting court at a rate that's uh, alarming. So the ability to get anybody from the sheriff's department beyond what we've been getting or the state police uh, is minimal. I'll certainly continue to press for it but I don't want to give promises that I can't keep that uh, it's going to change much in the near future. So. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Chief, I just had a question. Yep. So at the end of October, currently, you've expended in that outside agency a little over 16000 So if that remains the same, does the rest of that money go back into the, like if there's money left over? What is that? Um, that would be a question to ask the finance director. Yeah. 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 Um, if like it ends. Unexpended funds from a particular line. Not from a bottom line only. Bottom line. That's what I meant, bottom line. Okay, so oh, yeah. it goes so back the into line the... bottom line will go into the other kind of fund balance, right. yes. Right. But you, you don't think maybe some of those, I'm, my term is the bills maybe haven't come in yet? or No, usually I, I want those bills. The last 
one that worked under that I think was probably the first or second week of August. Okay. And most of the only, you know, there's one department I constantly have to harp on because they take about a month to get the, the building done, which I would expect they would want their money quicker, but it takes about a month. But no, I believe all the bills are in okay, for, for that program. If I, I'll double check, but I don't believe we have any it's a tough bills. one, like you said. Yeah. I, you just never know, right? I mean, yeah. there's somebody. Somebody could hit us with one that they forgot, but I don't anticipate it. Thank you. Okay, under special details, and that, everybody understand what that is, right? We don't. Need, we, we need to move that, Rusty. I don't think we need to do anything with that. Do you have to move it. It's zero. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, special zero, details zero. Is zero zero. <laughs> Good. And then the last uh, area. And I think we saw a little increase here. The police stations and buildings, it's hard to believe, Chief, it's uh, 15 years. Uh, yeah, yeah we, were, we were hoping this year um, that to try, try to come in with some funding to try to start replacing things like carpets, yep. um, furniture, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna make do with what we got for now. It's not, it's not critical, it's just getting towards that time where the Formica and the offices were on the counter of the offices work in the workstations. Yep. You're starting to peel up. So those are things we want to try to take care of over the next couple of years. Okay. Mr. Bridal, would you like to move that? Yeah, I'll move the 206-205. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff, the number 206-205 for police station and buildings. Does anybody have any questions or comments on this, this section? Uh, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, just brief. I, uh, you know, like everything, 15 years the station. You know, like he's talking about the Formica and stuff, that was falling apart, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. So it is time that, uh, you know, like everything, you build a house, stuff starts falling apart, you got to keep it up. So at we've some point, talked, they do have to. We've have to talked about care. doing that through possibly an aggregate and do it through capital improvement, but we have to have further discussions on that and approach that. Great. Any, uh, David or, or Mr. Ladd, any other questions? So uh, we're looking good here. Um, Question for Christy. So the actual number that Mr. Bridal moved, well, let's have Mr. Bridal move the well, final. I'll move, the, the, <laughs> I'll move the, uh, the the total police department is 4,560,707. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. And I did notice in the summary pages, almost alluded to what I think uh, David was talking about earlier, but the total actually has increased 4,578,953. Um, should we wait, Christy, to final review to do that number, or should we do it now and you can add it into the? That's your guys' choice, whatever you do. What if the committee wishes? Uh, do we see any changes in this area? Would you rather move this, uh, the full number now? Would you like to wait to the final review? Final review. Final review. Wait. Good. Okay. So, great job, Chief and Deputy Chief, on the uh, the Hampton Police Department budget.